Good morning, gamers. Welcome back. The players. The players. The players. Well, let's just say it was another shopping episode. I am the AMDM Lee. This is my cup of coffee, and you're watching Bridgewater Nights. coffee so players finally make it out of the dungeon um, and make their way over to the well actually as they're trying to make their way out of the dungeon they end up they find one great and end up coming out breaking the grate open coming out into the zoo into a animal pen of a black panther for those of you who don't know a while back there was a druid in the campaign alara alaria alara um a genesis a genesis the genocide genesis 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 um Druid who went to speak with animals and actually spoke with this particular Black Panther. My name is Panther. Um, so they saw there was a panther and decided to go back down into the into the sewer and block that back off so the panther couldn't escape. Uh, they finally make their way out of the sewer, make their way over to the temple district, realizing they do not have enough cash to um, repair both a leg and an arm. So, they sent a message to Lord Zachariah and letting him know what was going on. And while they're doing that, Desiree decides to go out and try to raise some money. Going to sell some of the items. Cons a man out in the street for the gold. Which he doesn't have all of it on him. He's got a little bit. So she cons that on him and then proceeds to bamp away. So they they the, the the messenger comes back, speaks to the priest. They heal the leg of the tabaxi. Completely heal. And are told they are summoned to Lord Zachariah. Uh, mind you, they spent a while in the sewers trying to get out. And trying to, to get up to this point. They get to Lord Zechariah, and he a, he basically goes over, the, it wasn't so much a shopping episode, very much a role play. He goes over with them what's been going on, and that now uh, there's something been going on in a local, in one of the other towns in the city of Longstreet. Which is a town of magic. Mages pretty much are all over that town. And they are asked to... They are tasked to go find out what's wrong. It was suggested that they go by the councilman, or councilwoman, Hamelita. She suggested to the prince... 
that they go discover what's going on there. So it is a perfect opportunity for her to get these the PCs out of town. Um, so to prepare them for their mission, Lord Zachariah activates another property of the Cloak of Billowing that Terrid Baraxis, the uh, bard, has. He has a Cloak of Billowing. It's in the Xanathar's Guide. It's just, it really just billows dramatically. Really cool RP type thing. Well, he activated another ability of it, which is not in the books. Uh, that as long as he has, as, he, as long as he's wearing that cloak, he is never unarmed. With as an action, or as a not an action, but the the cloak will wrap around his hand, forming a rapier. Out. So he is never unarmed. He is always. Whoosh, he always has a sword on him. Um, for Clay, he has taken. I took uh, the. He took a ruby that had six spider like legs on it, insectoid legs, shoved it in her stump, the legs dug in and um because clay had lost an arm so as these dug in now clay when clay is awoke on the next day projecting from the ruby is a ruby arm an arm made of ruby from where it was cut clay lost their his arm roughly there so now there's a gem sticking out of the stub and from the gem is a full-blown fist a ruby fist uh, he also gifted another character with the boots of tracking which allow for different tracking where the tracks look different and a cloak of fashions and then sent them on their way there wasn't a whole lot going on that episode um, just a, a lot of role playing and deciding how they're going to deal with the issues, which they'll have to find out what's going to happen now that they're being forced out of town. So we'll see what happens on the next episode. That's all I got for now, guys. If you like these videos, please click on the like button. If you think someone else would like them, please click on the share button. Every like's an inspiration, every share's an advantage, and every subscription is an experience point. Help me gain 300 experience points so I can get to second level. And as always, the AMDM does hereby authorize you, the viewer, to gain 10 experience points for every video that you share. Just tell your DM the AMDM said so. So that's all I've got for now, guys. Go forth and roll some dice.